Mark Grant. Yeah. He's pitching the Braves. Yeah. Yeah. Where's the Cassie? Yeah. I want to go Cassie. Mm -hmm. I got one already in there. Yeah. yeah. She's going to wave off where she puts her shoes on. I don't know what she's done with it. Yes. Molly, where's her passing? Molly, what'd you do with your passing? If I got her, I'd have him. These. Yeah. These are the puzzles. Um, I know. That from the Yeah. You got to read some books, so. You got to read the summer honey. Those that uh, those that he read with her should have counted on it too. Yeah. You're supposed to write down that. All he's got some at the house that he he's looked at them, but he hadn't ever read them. Well, you that give you a lot of now he would have got another award if they had found out about it eating the most uh, biscuits and gravy Oh, 
Now let's pray. Yeah, you put two of them in there. Put that, put that one upside down. Like right that. There you go. You look back. You can do that right there. Okay, you come back. Thank you. You do it and I'll see you more. You'll see me and probably some friends. Hey, Cliff. Just wait till you graduate from high school, you get a car. Won't that be better? What, what kind of car you want? Yeah. Corvette. My goodness. He's not a Jeep, is he? Come back in here, Molly. Come in, Come here. Little girls are a lot different from little boys, They sure are. I'm going to keep that. I'm going to keep that. Please ask your little sheets. Here. Well, look how many of them put in there. Oh, boy. I need to work with I need to work
this is the way we cook the eggs and sausage for breakfast. And also the only heat we had. This is Farmer Papa. them do it the way I've seen them do it is they don't try to get down so deep they skim across the top first they don't try to get down to the bottom <coughs>
Oh. Killed his motor. Papa Webb killed his motor. Don't have a clutch pushed in. They can't hear you. That's good, it's wet. That means it'll move easier. Tire spinning. That's the first time I ever saw Farmer Webb on the tractor, so I thought I'd better get it on tape. See how long it takes him to move that pile of dirt.
the stump there. And we're back. We're back and, and uh, uh, having, a, having a good look at the Lincoln photo. Yes, indeed. And for anybody who is uh, at all a buff of photography or history or whatever, or if you've ever, you've probably undoubtedly seen this photograph of Abe Lincoln. This is one where Abe has no beard, and this was taken, the, the date on here, I believe, and I don't see it too well. What is the date on this? 18... 1860. 18... 1860. Yeah, 1860. And, and it was not, it was not a photograph, it was not a off lithograph, what? Off of glass plates. Mm-hmm. Off of glass plate, okay. Mm -hmm. Now I have seen, I have had some of those come in, come into Jimmy's photo when I owned Jimmy's for people to, for me to copy. Abe was uh, the one that, uh, mm -hmm. he, he did the original, uh, uh yeah, looking it up. Uh, yeah. And, and did the and photograph for the, for the story. Uh, joining us, uh, Ben and I tonight, is uh, D.F. Webb, who purchased this. You, many of you know Mr. Webb. He has uh, Webb's TV up on uh, Lafayette Road there. And Carolyn Sood, who's the manager of the Antique Mall over at Marketplace Mall. They're joining us tonight, and uh, she's quite an expert on these things. And she uh, has, has it displayed over at the... Uh, in one of our displays at the mall. Sales, yes. uh, tell us, Mr. Webb, what was so rare about what's so rare about this, and and tell us your story about when you first looked upon it. Well, I was at a uh, a state auction, and uh, 
everything's been sold in the uh, auction, and I was trying to. I bought a sewing machine, and I was trying to get the light that came with it. It was in another box, uh -huh. and so I offered to buy the light out of the box, and they said, no, just a dollar for the whole box. And so I got it out and looked at it, and it was late at night, as after one o'clock anyway, and I'd taken it home with me. Next day I got to looking at it, and it had a copyright on the bottom of it. And we figured it out to be about 1881 mm -hmm. when that picture was taken off the glass plates. Mm -hmm. And so uh, we went to the libraries up in Chattanooga and researched it up there and taken it out to Jimmy's photo out there. And he said it was uh, off the glass plates and it was old. Mm -hmm. And uh, we went to researching it then and trying to find out to, if it was valuable or not. So. Uh, according to the Data Citizen News article in August 1971, it says that uh, Mr. Webb thinks the picture was one of three or four made on June the 3rd, 1860, by Alexander Hessler at Springfield, Illinois, during the campaign that year, and was then copied from original glass plates by George Ayers and copyrighted by Mr. Ayers. Mm -hmm. And Lincoln said of that photo, that looks better and expresses me better than any I have ever seen. Uh, if it pleases the people, I am satisfied. I wonder if he was satisfied. I wonder if he was. I, yeah. I think he, he, he looks uh, better with a beard, but it was, uh, it was <laughs> Well, rare. I'd like to have more of him with the beard in my pocket. Uh, yeah. I really want to know the truth. <laughs> so, but, uh, so then after that, what happened? After you, you discovered that? That's a uh, receipt there for the box that I bought for a dollar. That. And you bought it five-day bargain mart? Yes. Mm -hmm. from, from David and Francis Russell. Okay. There's a little item that got it for me there. So that was original. Yeah. So I kept like that a, all that time. Looks like a spoon with a bulb in it, and it's got a clamp on it, and it clamps on uh -huh. the sewing machine, and uh -huh. you plug it in and have a light on the uh -huh. sewing machine. And if they had taken this, this little, this little light, looks like you said, in the bag, it looks like a spoon with a bulb. If this had been on the sewing machine, you never would have had the photograph. That's right. Yeah. Isn't it funny Stranger how, things how, have happened. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Isn't it funn how fate works? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, well, let's don't leave Carolyn out of this. We'll right. talk more about that. But tell me how Carolyn, uh, how you come to get involved to put it in your place? Well, I want to display it and, and sell it. I decided to sell it after so many years. So it's up That's for sale at Carolyn's one. place? Yeah. Oh, $22,000. Okay. I'm asking for it, yes. Mm -hmm. It's in one of our uh, display cases, locked up, of course, but on view and for sale. And we're at Gateway Antique Mall, which is in uh, Marketplace Mall. We've been there almost a month now mm -hmm. and uh, have about 50 dealers and a 40,000 square foot building and a pleasant, well lit, carpeted, unusually clean. Plenty antique of parking. Mall. Uh -huh. yes. Plenty of parking. Right. Right, these things are uh, unusual for uh -huh. antique malls. Right. Mm -hmm. So, uh, so he found.